Hey there, folks. Over there, Stu's Game Reviews live stream. I am hoping that OBS is not going to take a hiccup today like did the last two times. I feel like it's slightly lagged. I'm like looking at myself talking. I'm like slightly behind. But we'll see. Pop Puck. Great reference, man. Give me a smile. <laughs> that was awesome. That was you got a point for that, pal puck. Um, hey there, pirate gear boy. This is a Fox Twenty Six Hundred game of high hopes for this. It always seems to expect to be wowed. So a couple things, by the way, it's funny. This is the th fourth stream I think I'm doing using this new laptop. Lester was here in one of the previous streams and said, "Oh, I look so much sharper." But I found out that actually the whole time I was broadcasting at 720p and not 1080p. And that may have also something to do with the, with the weird stuff that was going on too. I don't know why. I don't know if, how or why. But regardless, hopefully today I'm actually broadcasting at 1080p. Actually, let me just double check that. I think I am. I don't think you can change it anyway at this point. Yeah, it should be, it should be 1080p now. So that was a little bit weird. But anyway, welcome everybody to the stream. We're doing Atari 2600 again today, this evening. And the game I have here is called Crypts of Chaos. Now, Fox games are for the 2600 are interesting. They all are interesting. A lot of them were, were um, fancy graphics, yeah. <laughs> Atari games had a tendency to like switch the colors like to prevent screen burn, I think. But in any case, here's Crypts of Chaos. Fox games, a lot of them were made by Sirius Software, um, and they were translated from the computer versions, and maybe a little bit different or changed the names. Like, for example, um, Flash Gordon is a Fox game, which on the computer is called Spider City, the same exact game, but they just didn't get the, the Flash Gordon license. Um, Porky's we played before on this channel, which was a Fox game. Um, one thing about these Fox games is that the boxes are, are sort of interesting. They're, I think they're very cool. Um, if you look like here, there's a, there's a little tab here that wraps, that comes out, and on the back of it is more of the same, and actually like on the back of the box is white spot, because it actually is supposed to cover the white spot, but you open this thing up like for the first time, I don't know if you can see this properly, you open this up for the first time, open this tab, taking it like this, and then going forward you can't like attach it back so I, you tuck it in here basically and that's what i do but leaves a white spot in the back anyway you open this thing up oh wait did it freeze fuck why did it freeze god damn it why why, 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 why does it keep doing that? I don't get it. Every single stream, it hiccups like that one time. Hopefully that's the last time. But I, there's something wrong with this version of OBS. I don't know. Hey there, Kayla. All right, let me show that again. It's, 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 I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, so you open this flap up, and then this whole cover, like, slides off. And so, this is the outer cover. It's open only up on the side. And then, this is the rest of the box, but this is actually the manual that I can take off. I probably need the manual for this game. And then underneath that is the cartridge. So the boxes are very cool. Yeah, it wasn't your phone, Kayla. It was, it's, it's my stupid computer, um, apparently. Or, the, not with the computer, the OBS. And then, the games themselves are pretty cool, too, aside from the fact the packaging was cool. What keeps beeping? Let me just look at my phone and make sure nobody's trying to, like, reach me about something urgent. Kind of a magic-ish. Yeah, a, a, a magic was, like, more just it slid off at the top. Oh, jeez. My brother texted me. Do you wear Ganta and Oni? Do you guys wear Ganta and Oni? I, I, he's talking about an obscure video game. Um, and it's from the Sega Master System, if that helps. If anybody knows what, what he's talking about, I, I'll be impressed. But 
two characters from a Sega Master System game, Ganta and Oni. I, I, I assume it's pronounced Oni. It was O N I, and Ganta was the other guy. Anyway, so Crypts of Chaos. It's an attempt to make some kind of RPG on. And I have my Atari joystick on the Atari. This is my new computer. Yes, I don't really understand how how this game works. I know it says Fox here, which I see, it, you know that's just Fox. Zero is the score, but there's, there's, there's not a lot of instructions. But it's sort of complicated in terms of how this actually works. And I read it before, but I'm going to maybe look at it again. Use the game select lever and difficulty switches to choose a play level. Uh, press the game reset lever. So I don't I don't really know what's what's the difficulty set. To. I think B is the you, in most of the games for some reason there's difficulty A and B, and B is the easier difficulty. I don't know why. Um, okay, play level two. Okay, play level one is normal gameplay. Two is advanced. Three is expert, and four is easy practice game. Both difficulty switches on B. Wandering monsters appear. In this okay, so B is the easier one in this game too. Disney technically owns this game now. Maybe I don't know. Um, let's see if I have a switch of difficulty. All right, left difficulty B, right difficulty B. Okay, and then. I want level one, so I'm on level one. So apparently the the, the <laughs> Plus series is coming soon. Apparently the object of this game is to explore this dungeon, which online it says it has 16 levels, but in the manual it implies that it goes on forever. So I'm not really sure. And, well, it must be more than that, because here it says, consider yourself a noble if you can descend to 418 and still get out alive. So basically, the idea is to... Explore the dungeon, kill monsters, and then once you feel you're about to die, get out before you're dead. Um, essentially, and if you get out before you're dead, then you get some bonus points. But I mean, really, it's just like go and kill people, and you know, it's and continue. I guess it's like a I will say it's a roguelike, but it's not because the the, the maze format, the the dungeon levels are fixed apparently. All right, so I just started. Oh, geez, look at that. Look at that little cute thing that's about to kill me. It's killing me. You see that at the top left is my hit points? What the hell? I guess after it kills you, it cycles through all the different monsters that are possible. So some little dude killed me. It's a troll according to the manual. <laughs> now, how do I how do I fight? Um I understand how to walk. So, okay, so the bottom bottom left, the bottom part of the screen, there's a bunch of icons, right? So, um, the left one is take treasure, the second one is a sword, the next one is a wand for long-range firing. It says, although it is a fairly large supply of charges, it will eventually run out, so aim carefully. The wand has no effect on dragons, and by the wizards cannot be powered by the sword. That was you know, that was pretty fast, by the way. That was like I didn't get a lot of time to really react there. Um, the ring is the next one. It's your most powerful weapon. It has fewer charges than the sword or the wand. When you use the ring, it will take life force from the monster and to your hit count. That's good to know. The next one is talk to, to peace symbol to talk to intelligent monsters, and trolls are one of the intelligent monsters. I should have tried that one. And then intelligent monsters are trolls, eyes, wizards, and dragons. And the last one is to do a U-turn. So, the way you select an option is you, how? You press down or something. I read it before. Uh, oh yeah, pull the joystick towards you to the left or the right, and then with the cursor over the action you want, Press the joystick straight forward to lock the option in. Then press the joystick button to activate the option. Hey, though. Hey, Luis. Let's, let's try it again. Look like the guy's just coming right away. Hello. There we go. Oh, no. Not that one. I think I talked to him and he left. This guy's not going to leave. Whoa. Is it, what the? Is my sword? It's not working. Not doing anything. What? Oh, it's not in the right place. That's why. 
Wow. <laughs> that was freaking quick. Let's try that again. All right. It's not easy to control this thing. All right, the peace thing works on that guy. You don't get any points for that, obviously. Oh, wow. I'm in a room and there's not, like, some guy that can immediately try to kill me. All right, so... This is a car door, apparently. <laughs> this game over is ever... It should be this arcade game. Okay, I'm still, like, in a car door. Now, notice, like, the... It's, like... It's very hard to tell based on the pictures here. What's... Oh, shit. <laughs> I get... Die! Die! All right, I killed it. I got some points, but look, I lost so much hit points. I don't... I don't <laughs> this is, like, really hard. I guess that thing is my... That's my sword. It's probably put in the middle. Oh, my God. I lose, I lose the wand. Oh, I can, I can talk to this guy, all right? There's, like... There's, like... These guys are, like, so eager to kill you. And it's hard to control this thing, too. <laughs> die, die, die. So, uh, by the way, there's a T, a T intersection. doesn't look like anything else here. And also, I think I'm at a... This is a four-way intersection, according to the map. The, the map's... Here, let me, can you guys see this shit? The map says this is a four-way intersection. It doesn't look like a four-way intersection. It looks like nothing, but I guess I can turn here if I want to. Um, How do you turn? Just turn. Just oh, I gotta put the headphones in it. It says you'll hear a beep to let you know that you successfully turned to the right. You oh come on! How do I, can I pause this thing? Yes, you can't, right? <laughs> you slayed with a plastic straw. How do I pause this? Oh, no, no, I'm not. Sh how do you how do you pause it? I don't remember. Where's my headphones? Where are my pocket? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. It's okay. We'll just, we'll die one time. I'll have to put my headphones on. It's like this is like really this is like an action RPG where like you can barely even control it. Because the controls are so complicated, it shouldn't uh, take away your hit points so damn fast. All right, now I can. What is there to hear here? Was there anything to hear? Oh, there's like a, like a, a buzzing sound. Okay, there's some sound. All right. All right so this is, a, this is. A, let's see if I turn here. This is supposed to be a, a four-way. Oh, jeez. So, how do I turn? Hi, Ninja. How you doing? How the hell do I turn? You just all the way to the left or the right. I'm trying. Oh, come on. Out peace with this guy. Alright, so this is not a four-way intersection? It looks like a four-way intersection. Oh, it's blue. Okay, a four-way... The, the color is important. A four-way intersection has to be blue. Okie dokie. I... Uh, okay, alright. Move one foot faster than the other. I'm trying to move here. If only had a dancing dragon, give you a hint to the bottom left corner, right? There we go. You're really, really tired? I'm much better now that you're here, and I'm being. Oh, now I, now I understand the illusion that they're trying to do here. I'm much better now that you're here, Ninja, and I mean that very sincerely. I'm just going through this long corridor. What do you guys think of this wonderful 3D effect? Oh shit, it's a slime! How do I do it? Fuck, it's not working! What, what did I do wrong? Oh, I got the thing in the wrong place! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, I th I messed it up. I thought that. <laughs> okay, I I I'll try this again. So you gotta move the bottom thing, not the top thing. 
The top thing is is your sword or whatever, but you gotta select with the bottom thing. So I should probably have the bottom thing on here to start with. The player character with clean shoes. Because they're like where they're like stumbling badoo badoo. Hello. Come on! Fuck shit! What the hell? You saw that? I was trying to kill it, but like I lost almost all my hit points. Fuck you. Alright, I'm gonna die for sure. I gotta get points for killing those assholes. But it's just my charge to run out. That slime takes a hell of a lot of... That's a blob, by the way, not a slime. It's a blob. It takes a lot of shots. <laughs> Teenage Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, what's with that noise? Oh, okay, what's this? Just warning, you're approaching a dead end, a T-intersection, or a lair. My lair. Alright, so this is a dead end. No, I don't know what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Give me a second to think. Right, orange is... This is... A, this is a T intersection. All right, it can't be a dead end, right? Never been anywhere yet. Look to the left. What the hell is this? Is this a, a four-way intersection? Not let me go forward. Oh, now let me go forward. Now this is a dead end. Okay, let's make the U-turn. How about that? This. Good lord. This is so fucking difficult to control. Blue is a four way intersection. Let me go forward. Oh my god. Hey, I lost points even after that guy died. All right, if that guy comes again, I gotta use the ring because it says the ring restore like stucks health away from them and gives it to me. Another four-way intersection. All right, I'll make a left. I'll go straight. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Approaching. <sighs> Give me a chance. Oh, I just wasted the ring. Give me a chance to like, look at the instructions, goddammit. Is this a lair? Try to use the peace side. Use it. Oh, it. It. Oh. I think that was a lair. And it says here, there's no actually a picture of it right here. Yeah, that was a lair. And I forgot that it said before that, um, where did it say that? The peace symbol is not effective on any monster in a lair. <laughs> so I forgot about that. I tried to use it in the place where it's not effective. And so the crypt claims are effective. All right, well, I got to get used to the controls. That's, that's the reason. Controls here. The controls here are extremely awkward. That's how I got him. There we go. That's how you do it. I should have wasted that on those guys, but it's too hard to switch weapons. So 
you gotta keep moving, basically, because if you don't keep moving, the random monsters will get you. The wandering monsters. Wonder what's a good score for this game. I wish I could see it coming, like, how is it going through the walls? Like, it should come from the middle so I can actually see what, uh, I can see what the hell it is before it comes, it's, it's upon me. Because you're able to hit me from far away, maybe for a slime it has a lot of range. Or a blob. This is, that a, this is a lair, I think. Was that a lair? I think that was a lair. And now... <sighs> I'm still at a lair. How do I get out of here? Orange means... Oh, this is, this is a dead end. So I was in a lair. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this requires so much, so much like hand control. Here. I'm going the wrong way. I think I have to go back where I came. Ah, by the time I even like figure out what the hell I'm doing. What do you guys think of this game so far? It's very hard to control. Yeah, wrestle with the Atari joystick. That's a good description. How am I going this far? I didn't go that far before. I think I'm going back to the entrance. Which is fine. Let's see if I can actually can leave. Why is it always the same fucking enemies? That's this tunnel runner. Alright, what is that? What does that mean? Looks like a nuclear bomb. Well, that took a lot of hits. This is a down staircase. No, this is an up staircase. Alright. So how do I go up the damn up staircase? Uh how do I go up? Go forward? I don't think that made me go up, did it? What the hell? Where's... Where, was that an up staircase or a down staircase? I think... I'm not sure now. <laughs> Maybe it was a down staircase? Because it was an up staircase. Shouldn't I be out? It's all... Must have been a down staircase. Jesus, what the hell? Like, where's... Oh, no. I don't know. Evil frog. Where? You don't even have to move in this place. Just stay in one place and you'll you'll get all the enemies you can ever possibly want. This, what the hell happened to the staircase? I'm like thoroughly confused. Cause you're supposed to like be able to like leave and come back. Like it said, go to the depths of the dungeon and then come back. But how can you come back if there's no if there's no exit? I think every type of oh, okay, we got one of these guys. He's tougher now. Oh yeah, the colors actually influence how strong they are. So this guy is, see he took three hits, four hits, more hits than the other guy did. 
I want to leave. I want my mommy. Ah, I want my mommy. <laughs> oh, crap in a lair. At least it wasn't a very tough lair. That was a lair. Your by the way, you're very right to hate the controls. Because they they're 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 hateable. They're execrable. This way you trying to get out of my mommy. <laughs> I mean, basically I'm using one joystick to do the work of two joysticks. Almost. Or there's only one button is part of the problem. Where's this? How do I get back where I was? And I can't even like pause it to read instructions. Somebody check what's the key to pause Stella. It's not a real Atari. I just want to pause it. I just don't know what the key is. Someone check, please. It's up to you to keep track of what floor you're on, what portion of the maze you're in. To leave the crypt alive, you must stop exiting when you're out of almost out of hits. Head for the exits on the top floor. Our knowledge always ever reach the bottom of the crypts because there's no bottom. Oh my god, a skull. Sheesh. Like, how am I supposed to get to the exit if, if, if I have no idea where the fuck I am? I somehow went down when I meant to go up. No, monsters and treasure are replenished each time you leave a floor. What's this? I guess it's an intersection. Oh my god. What are we replenished? They never run out! This is a dead end? This is a lair. This is supposed to be a lair. This is definitely a dead end. To pause tell you press the pause key. Let's see if it works. Uh, where the hell is the pause key? <laughs> Do I have a pause key? I don't have a pause key. I don't see the pause key. I'm not pressing escape because I know that exits the, 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 the stupid thing. I'm going to turn here. Okay, I turned. Gotta go forward. I made another intersection. Or I'll turn again. Forward. What's this? Shoot, shoot! I'm out! Christ! He's killing me! No, what's going on? What happened? Are you kidding me? Why couldn't I kill him? I got one, two, three, four points. Is it possible we have charges for the wand? But then I tried to use the ring, it didn't work either. It was it was it was firing, but it wasn't doing anything. I didn't say it's you'd say the ring doesn't work on some kind of on frogs. What the hell? Let me 
me try this one more time. I'm getting very ticked off here. So that sword is like, is useless because it, you die when you use it. Backspace? Oh. The backspace didn't do anything. I, right now I just want to leave. I want to leave this place. I want to see how to leave. Alright, this is... Uh, Is this an upstairs case? I can't tell. Like, how do I... Is there a way to end this game? The bonus points are awarded for leaving the crypts alive. Maybe I, did I leave? Let me start over. I'm zero right now. Twenty one. We try to turn around. Backspace is the frying button. Still twenty one. But clearly that was not the exit. Wait a second, how there's a treasure button? How do I get the treasure? Oh, in the, it's in the lair. So I, I never did that. I, I didn't use the treasure button at all. I want to try that too. Got a plant here. It seems like this wand is really not very good. How can I possibly map this maze? It's, I can barely even tell what the hell's going on. Alright, this is... this That was the lair? I was in the... Oh, this is the lair. Alright, so now can I use the treasure? No. This is a dead end. I thought it was a lair, but it wasn't a lair. Thank you to the twins, how you invest in power clues, fry, and glitch out the game in a weird way. Well, I don't want to do that. Come on. You gotta be like a cartographer to play this game. To, f to figure out all these things mean. Really. It's the end of hard to control. I gotta move that, that little gold dot all the way to the bottom. Is that the lair? Is this the lair? Alright, so that was... I got gold. That's what just happened. Uh, that, that thing that popped up was gold that I got from, from looting the lair. So I did something right. <laughs> I got some gold. That was stupid. I didn't mean to do that. Wow, this is like a... I, would, I mean, this, I never even, like... I wonder if anybody ever played this game. Like, did you guys ever play this? Anybody? Come on, let me move this thing over. Pirate Gear Boy, you're like an Atari fan, right? I mean, like, did you ever play this? I assume you didn't. I mean, this is like an interesting game. It's very ambitious the 2600, which is why I wanted to play it, but, I mean, I think, 
It doesn't really succeed so well. Because I can't fucking hit the thing. Is this the lair? Oh, let's try this again. So I got gold again. Everyone loves gold. Everyone loves Raven too. I'm gonna have to press the button when I don't need to. Honestly, it's horseshit that you're in water and limited charges. Because the sword is completely uses it. They're killing you while you're using the sword. Like, as you're using it, they're killing you. They're cutting your balls off. I just want to find the staircase that goes out of this godforsaken place, honestly. If I can find the staircase and leave, I'll be a happy camper, honestly. I'll consider this game beaten. <laughs> I guess you don't start by the staircase. What's this orange? The dead end. What? Wait, wait. Oh no! This is a staircase going down. Alright, so we don't want to go this way. I believe this is a down staircase. No! Shit! No, I don't want to go there! I want to make a U turn! Oh no, no! Go back! Alright, wait, is this an up staircase now? Yes, I think it is. Alright, go up! Go up! Okay. Now turn left. Left goes here? Wait, there's an up staircase again. I think there's an up staircase. Can't be, can't be. No, it can't be. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, wait, orange? I'm totally confused. I think I just went up, but I'm still in the same place that I was. I'm back here again. <laughs> I don't understand. Help. <laughs> this is too confusing. That looks like an upstairs case of the picture. Not exactly, but it doesn't look like a downstairs case either. Why can't it show a freaking staircase? Now, it still doesn't look like either one. An upstairs case is always an intersection. Downstairs case is being found anywhere in the maze. How does that even make sense? <laughs> I'm getting upset here. And I'm assuming that if, if I leave, if I went up the staircase and I'm not out... And it could have been an upstairs case, right? But they look the same. How could it be? Doesn't an upstairs case have to be down on the other end? Man, I'm actually climbing the staircase properly. How easy you pause it again? Back, not backspace. How do you navigate the stairs? Hint from John W.S. Marvin. We're going to take the treasure. The upstairs case. Uh, fuck you already. Kill me. I don't care.
I can't read the instructions. Hints from John W.S. Marvin. Rotate the treasure of all eight layers at each level to get bonus charges for your ring and wand. Avoid combat with wandering monsters that might waste hits and weapon charges. Well, how do I avoid it? Don't waste time in the corridors, but seek out the lairs and take all the treasure you can. Keep the joystick pressed forward if you want to use the sword, for it will close the distance to you and the monster. That's good information. Yeah, I don't have a pause key on the keyboard. Um, when you're running low on hits and charges, try to make, how do you know when you're running low? Try to make it out of the crypts by ascending the up staircase to the surface. Be brave, be quick, and trust in your luck Good hunting. Well, how do I do that? It doesn't say how to actually climb the stairs. I mean, I assume we go forward. I'm going up the stairs, right? But then, like... <laughs> hey, Dorian. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to play again. I'm just trying to understand how you control the goddamn thing. If you take the treasure from all eight layers of the crypt floor and then go down the stairs to the next floor, you'll see you have ten extra charges for your wand and two extra charges for your ring. This guy said use the sword by pressing forward. Well, it doesn't tell me that. Yeah, let's try this one more time. But, like, I have a problem here. This is my problem. Let me show you. Okay. This is what it says an up staircase looks like. Sorry, this is an up staircase. Did I look like an up staircase to you? It looks like a nuclear explosion. And this is a down staircase, which looks more like a nuclear explosion because there's two lines in the middle of it. Now, this was on the screen right now. Didn't look like either one of those because it doesn't have those two lines. But it also, the line here is at the bottom and there it's like a little bit in the middle. So, I don't, is that an up staircase, a down staircase, or neither one? It always seems like it's a skill issue, yeah. Skill my ass. I want to see you play this game always asleep. You probably need to like move. <laughs> I need to get some water. I'll be right back. Give me one second. I'll, I'll return in one moment. Dorian says, nothing in this game looks like anything. And Palpox says, abstract art. <laughs> I mean, like I said before, it's very ambitious. I'll give it that. Right, let's try this one more time. This game was messed up, though. I have a real problem with this shit. I start right away with some duck kings attacking me. It would lie. I didn't close the distance by pressing up. Did you jack shit? Let me, I want to try this again. Just to test this bullshit advice. By pressing up. There's eight layers in every level. That's, man, that's a lot. Mr. Powers, welcome to my hidden lair. Man, definitely Frankenstein. 
But they're not spells. I'm holding it up. I'm holding it up. It just does nothing. I, mean, I killed that guy, but he only takes one shot. No, so, the, so again, I'll explain. For the the, the, the more, less intelligent people, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, the first symbol is, is, a tr is a treasure, supposed to be a treasure bag, so you press that when you're in the lair to loot it. The next one is your sword. The next one is a wand that shoots projectiles. Then there's a ring that has some magical power. Then there's a peace symbol, in case you want to try to make peace with the monster. And then there's a U-turn symbol to make a U-turn. But this... This all assumes you actually have time to do anything when the monster comes before they fucking kill you. Like, to go select whatever you want to select. And, and at this point, I am literally just trying to figure out how to leave the maze. But supposedly, the only way to, to end this game is to, like, collect as much treasure as possible, get as many points as possible, and then exit the maze. So I want to see if it's possible even to exit the maze. That's my current goal. I don't want... Is this a lair? Or a dead end? I think it's a lair. Oh my god, why is there two monsters here? Let's see if I can collect treasure. Nope, I, I can't. So it's not even a fucking lair. Oh my god. Alright, so you turn. Well, now I'm at an intersection. I, I don't know, I didn't know how it was an intersection before. I feel like this thing is, is trolling me. I feel like this is all, like, BS. Okay, this is how this works. I think I'm getting the, losing the interface a little bit. Seems to have a spell. Yeah, you asked that question already. I was supposed to do the peace sign of that guy, but I didn't. I probably should have. By the time you see who's coming, it's like too late to do anything useful. How are monster versions from a dead end? Yeah, good question. So let's use the peace sign. So I used the peace sign, it worked. He left, but I didn't get any points either, so that's the problem. What's this? Alright, now can I get the treasure? Right, so I got a whole bunch of gold. So that's good. I mean, theoretically. Treasure! 100 points. By the time I use the peace sign, like, it takes up a lot of time. Okay, let's turn. Let's go forward. I mean, like, every time I try to use the sword, I get killed. But the wand is a bad move, too, because you run out. It's so hard to, like, put up my freaking peace sign. Why well, can't I just wear a peace medallion around my neck or something? And I go, hey, man, we cool here? That's a dead end. So let's go back. So much. And now I get an intersection. How is there an intersection where there wasn't an intersection before? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. I feel like this game is broken. I feel like whatever it says in the in the instructions is not completely true. It can't be that I go into a dead end and come out and there's an intersection where there wasn't one before. It just doesn't. And it, it just doesn't make sense. I hate to say it, but it does not make sense. They're there. Alright, so now I can collect treasure. I got a whole bunch of treasure. Alright, so at least that at least that mechanic works. Mostly as advertised. Turn. The control scheme of this is really tough. I guess you're supposed to know what, what kind of monster it is by the noise. It's called the Crypt of Chaos. Yeah, good point. 
But like if the noise goes like, then I guess you're supposed to know it's a, it's a blob. I suppose it's something else. And if it goes like, then you know it's like this guy. I guess all he did was make like a little crawling sound. Do I get treasure? There's my treasure. Will I live to, to collect it? <laughs> well, wait, wait, where'd that guy come from? He came from out of the wall. And that's not fair. Treasure. I should do the gauntlet thing. How come I never saw Mike Mate play this game? I bet he sucks at it too. I bet never heard of it. Come out of a dead end. It's like a really tough monster too. I get it. How could there be an intersection here? There wasn't one before. I don't understand. Please tell me, guys. Am I too stupid for this game? Let's play more gold. I play dark chambers. Get very upset. I think I'm too stupid for this game. Damn, I've got bad aim too. Okay, so I should get some gold here. There's my gold. Alright, I guess I'm getting a lot of gold. Now, can I actually leave this place is the big question. This place randomly generates. Supposedly it's not, but I don't believe it. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'll, in the manual it says something that implies that it's not. But I, I, at this point, I don't believe anything the manual says. I think the manual's just straight up lying. But the fact that I can't even figure out how to get out of... Okay, wait. This is a down staircase, I think. It has those two lines. So I want to stay away from you. I don't want to down staircase. No, no! Stop making me go forward! <sighs> so hard to control. This game was apparently made by like one dude. Got a little bit of treasure. Hey, let me leave, please. dead soon. I'm gonna run a one and then when I'm trying to one I'm done. I know the sword is not gonna protect me. 
I have no illusions to that. To that. <laughs> and. Dorian, I'll read you what it says about the red stuff. As soon as I have a chance to actually read something without getting killed. What is this? Dead end. Well, that was an intersection. That was that. Stupid me. Oh my god, this would be like an okay game, honestly, if they actually, like, didn't... If, they, if, if, if there was no shortage of these wand charges. Because, like, honestly, it's really super unfair to have a mechanic like that in this type of game where I can barely control it. Just be unlimited wand, be done with it. This is a very good game. I got some more gold at least. I mean, it sort of does suck, but I mean, like I said, it's very really ambitious. In 1983, it was probably the bomb. How do you know how many charges you left in the wand? There's no indication whatsoever. That's also a problem. I could be going in circles for all eternity, for all I know. I'm already get out of this place. The fact that I can get gold in the lairs, I'm assuming, is a sign that I haven't been to the lair yet, because if I have been there, I, I assume I would be able to get gold again. No, that's just a... Oh my gosh. That thing sucks. It doesn't even, like... I mean, you think one, sh you think one shot from the ring would kill it, but it doesn't. The ring is supposed to be your powerful weapon. It doesn't even do jack shit. I got a lot of points there. This is definitely the highest score I've gotten. Because in the past, I got one, two, three, four. So that's some, I guess. Oh my god, give me a chance to move. Tasmania, this. No question. I think Dorian summed it up very well. It's a cool idea, honestly. It's like an early dungeon core with a horror theme, but it doesn't seem super fun to play. It doesn't seem at all fun to play. I think you meant to say. Please, I'll be so. Right now, like, I'll be so happy if I find an upstairs case. You guys don't know how happy I'll be. Like, really happy. I feel like it's never gonna happen. I feel like I'm doomed to wander in this godforsaken place until the charges of my wand run out. At which point, I will be done. 99 health, what you say? I started with 80 health, and I got 99 from the ring. I 
And I'm walking in these huge lead boots. Oh no. A lot more treasure there. Like, seriously, how can you find all these layers? you find all these freaking like layers <laughs> the true horror of this game watering this featureless crypt for eternity i agree i so badly want to want the exit <laughs> magenta no less well it's green right now I will pay right now, buddy, to get an upstairs staircase. It actually works. I'll be able to climb out of this place. I'll be so happy. Uh -huh. But it's not happening, is it? It's like Ellis Carter. How much would it pay? At least 20 bucks. Okay, it's the longest carter ever. Wait, wait. I think this is this is the upstairs case. Holy shit. I went up, so what again, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I not out? What the fuck? <laughs> Did I go up the upstairs keys? I'm out. I'm out of charges for the wand. And only that, you see, like, what, what the hell? What the hell? I don't trust to use the sword now. You're kicking my ass! See, I'm almost dead. Where's. I, I, I went up a staircase, didn't I? Where'd it go? I'm going to get back to the wand. We turn around! Oh, I don't... There's a staircase I came down, right? Up? It, uh, up! What, what, I, why did I go up? Wh why? What am I doing wrong? This is it, isn't it? I want to go up! This is not a staircase? It looks like a staircase. What am I supposed to do? I don't 
shit, how come, if I, after I go up, like, I'm trying to go forward, that should be up the staircase. But then I end up here. Like, I turned. Here it is again. Why am I, why am I ending up there? Did I leave? Did I leave? I left! That's why I left! Right? Did I leave? I didn't die! <laughs> I think I somehow figured... I somehow left. I don't know what I did. Oh my god! I think I left! And there's no indication whatsoever. Did I did I get some extra points when I when I did that? That's the only way to know. Does anybody like have a go back like you know a minute on the stream and see if I if I got points with before the flashing started? Because I wasn't killed, I don't think. I have twenty thirty two now. Did I have something less than that before? Wow. This game was made by one dude, John W.S. Marvin. To John, I got points. All right, so that must have been it. I must have, that must have been, I don't know why the other 20 times I tried to go up, it didn't work, but somehow I must have gone up. The points count up in the screen flash. Okay. I go to MobyGames.com. I want to see, look up John W.S. Marvin. John Marvin. He created Crypts of Chaos, Silicon Warrior, which is an epics game. I, I haven't played it, but I think I have it. Revenge and Lunar Outpost, also. Another epics game. Along with Randy Glover. And then in 2003, he made a game called Revenge of the Apes, which was for Atari 2600. I never heard of that one. Some kind of uh, late release, like, you know, homebrew or something, Atari 2600 game. So, this guy, this guy obviously has not made a lot of, a lot of games in his life, but he did make more than this one. I mean, I guess the way I would sum this up is, again, it's very ambitious. I said that, I think, a, a dozen times already. Yeah, Randy Glover, the Jumpman dude. Well, that one game he made with, with Randy Glover. It's very ambitious. He tried to make a dungeon crawler on Atari 2600. Dory, they weren't. But, like, in 2003, there was already, like, retro gaming expos. And a number of Atari games got released in 2003, like prototypes and stuff that were released back in the day that they found and dug up, and they, like, Atari Age started, like, putting things on cartridges and whatnot. So there were some releases in 2003, and I guess probably a couple of homebrew titles also. But it's possible that that game that was released in 2003 was just, like, published, like, it was something he wrote back in the day. It says, developed by Fox Video Games and Retro Design. So my guess, and published by Retro Design, which I never heard of, they only published two, uh, two games, and one of them was Combat 2. So it sounds like it was a prototype from back in the day, and they probably finished it, and, or tried to finish it, and, and published it as a cart. Yeah, the retro game was seen picked up earlier than you, than you thought, I guess, too. I feel really dumb, because like I actually was at some of these expos where they were selling... These, these these Atari prototypes and re-releases, but I didn't buy any of them because back then I was only collecting PC games, so I missed out on stuff. Even though I was actually there and I could have bought it. But anyway, I guess the summary of this one thing I did buy a couple things, but the summary of this game is they tried really hard to make a, th a first-person dungeon crawler, but there's two big problems. With, well, there's more than two. There's a few problems with this game. One is the controls are really tough. That's not like a, a killer. It's not like a fatal flaw. 
but it's it's enough of a problem that it really makes things difficult. It's very hard to control. Number two, which I think is the biggest problem, is that your wand should not run out of charges. They made it too complicated with the sword and the wand and the ring. It should just be a wand, and you should be able to pick up, like, charges and health pickups, like like, like a normal game. Like, this, if there's, like, Catacombs 3D, that's what they would have. Like, you, had, you shot stuff, and you could pick up charges... And you can pick up health. That's what it should have been instead of the, the crazy mechanism they have here for, for health and the fact that your wand runs out unless you you know, have some conditions that are very hard to reach because the map is really a maze. Number three, which is also a big problem, is that it's very, very hard to understand what you're looking at in the game. Like, why couldn't they make the up staircase look a little more like an up staircase? I know that they definitely have some graphical capabilities of the Atari 2600. I mean, the answer is probably very simple. The answer is this is a 4K cart, and they if this was like an 8K cart, maybe it would look much better. But they did a lot of good stuff on 4K carts, too. I mean, like, really, it's very disappointing. Like, the monsters look good, the mo and, the, and the, the graphics for you, like, you know, the sword and the, and the laser or whatever, those are fine. It's just that the graphics of the actual surroundings... They tell you where you're going in the maze are really, really tough. They try with the color coding and stuff, but it just did not do it, in my opinion. Pirate Gear Voices for 4K, it's not bad. I agree, but it, it's not good enough either. Like, this is probably the last time, even though I like bought this game and paid money for it, whatever, and I, I'm glad to have it in my collection. I think it's cool. This is probably the last time I'll ever play it because it's just not worth it. There's much better games to play and they sort of failed. Oh, I said I would answer the question about the, the the map. It says, The Crypts of Chaos are made of many floors. Each floor is a separate maze. There are four maze formats as they repeat as you descend into the, into the crypt. Floors 1, 5, 9, 13, etc. are maze format A. Floors 2, 6, 10, 14, etc. are maze format B. You know, etc., etc. Each maze has consists of several corridors, four intersections, and dead ends. There are eight monster layers on each floor, one up and one down stairway. So I assumed that that meant maze format A is like set and it's always the same maze, but it might be randomly generated, you know, every time you start a new game, what maze format A is. It's not really very clear. I wonder if there's a map somewhere, the Crypts of Chaos map, but like, even if there is, <laughs> the fact that there's nothing actually to get, like, it's not like if you go that deeper in the dungeon, you can actually find the Wand of Yendor, or whatever it's called, the Wand of Zot, or, or whatever else, and the Orb of Yendor, and you can actually find something useful, and you can, like, win the game. If the only way to win the game, quote-unquote, is to leave, then what's the point of even going down? I mean, to get a higher score, I guess, but you can... I mean, I guess the reason is, the only way to recharge your wand is by going down. So theoretically, if you're a really good player, you want to, the way you maximize your score is you clean out the eight layers, and then you go down, and then you and rinse and repeat, and then eventually you leave. But, like, it seems like suicide, because I don't know how you could possibly get out. Once you're low on wand charges, how can you get out? Unless you're so freaking good with the sword, I guess. Um... But yeah, it's it's, and then even when you actually do get out, it's all that happens is the screen flashes. It doesn't even say like congratulations or whatever. Pirate game voices may get someone else to play to watch them suffer. That's like a good idea. It's like one of those things like, hey, I got this great game for you to play. <coughs> you want to see this good game? I promise it's really good. <coughs> that might be entertaining. We must see all the floors. Giddy ups is always asleep. <laughs> Pirate game voices may there's a kiosk in somewhere. I, I don't think so. I think that's it for today. Um, this is you know, long enough for me to find to understand that this game was probably not something I want to play because it's more painful than fun. But um, if you like this video, regardless if you like the game, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I want to thank great people, reg regulars of this channel who are here today. Pirate Gamer Boy, Always Asleep, Dorian, Palpuck, Ninja, and Luis... And was there anybody else? I think that was it. Oh, Kayla was here at the beginning, too. Um, she doesn't totally count, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this of this game. I'm curious if anybody ever played this game back in the day because this is not a game that I even heard of back in the day. And when I heard it came out, I was sort of you know, when I saw it, I was interested. Actually, one more thing. This is this is a nice book. I'll go throw a plug in for fellow YouTuber YouTuber Brett Weiss. Classical video games, 1972, 1984. And um, in this game, in this book rather, there's a write up of this, and I think it was pretty accurate. It says, At ahead of its time, first person RPG, Crypts of Chaos as players walking slowly, too slowly in fact, down blocky three dimensional hallways, killing monsters and searching for treasures. Several weapons and items are available, including a magic ring, a sword, a magic wand, and a peace sign, the latter of which can be used to fight the monsters. There are 16 floors and four types of mazes, but there are no doorways that branch off right or left. We the only way to turn is back. Well, that's not accurate, because we can turn right or left. I don't mean to read the instructions. or we just, <laughs> It's really not obvious. Crypts of Chaos was considered cutting edge in its day, but it is crude, confused, and virtually unplayable. I have to agree with that one. So, um, it's a good book, by the way. I like that book. It's not a thousand percent perfect, always, like you just saw, but it's it's a good book by Brent Weiss, also a YouTuber. He was, a, he was an author for a long time. He re more recently became a YouTuber. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. I, mean, I appreciate all of you. You guys are all awesome. People who come on live are, are the most awesome. The people who watch after the fact are the second most awesome. The people who don't watch it at all are not awesome. <laughs> uh, if you're not watching this, if you don't, if you're not watching this, you didn't hear me insult you, so that's okay. Um, thanks again very much, everybody. We'll do this again in the next day or two, maybe tomorrow, who knows. But I'm sorry to stream last night. I meant to, but I got major food poisoning from very bad Chinese food, so that was why I was not here yesterday. Hopefully I'll be able to solve the problem with the, the OBS. And, uh, yeah, have a great night, everybody, and uh, peace out, and we'll, we'll, we'll see each other soon, or at least you'll see me, and I'll see you talking and then your, your, your avatar soon. Have a good night, everybody. Talk to you all later.